Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalev 2 was almost just as competitive and exciting as the first fight. Sergey Kovalev and Andre Ward are two of the most evenly matched opponents in years. To be honest, the first few rounds was a scoring nightmare. Kovalev's jab seemed like it was frustrating Ward, but then Ward would come back with a nice body shot and it looked like Kovalev was frustrated. I can't stress enough how close those first few rounds were. If someone came up to me and said Kovalev was winning up to the stoppage, I wouldn't argue. But on the flip side, if someone came up to me and told me Andre Ward was ahead by the time of the stoppage, I also would not argue. Now let's dive into this fight a little closer. First, let's look at Andre Ward. For the most part, I thought he put on a very great performance. He definitely built off what he did the first time. And like I said in my prediction, I think he figured Kovalev out. He went to the body when he needed to. He roughed Kovalev up on the inside. And on top of that, he moved on the outside a lot of times to get out of Kovalev's range. In this fight, he showed that his punches have a lot of power on them. Because he hurt Kovalev more than Kovalev hurt him, which was surprising. Kovalev is a very strong puncher, one of the strongest punchers in boxing. So I expected Kovalev to go out there and hurt Ward a few times. But to everybody's surprise in the boxing community, it was Ward that was hurting Kovalev. So I thought Andre Ward put on a great performance. Yes, he was getting frustrated in the first three rounds. Yes, Kovalev's jab bothered him a little bit, but he adjusted and from around the fourth or fifth round to the stoppage, I think Ward took over the fight. Now let's move on to Sergey Kovalev. For the most part, I also think he put on a pretty good performance. If you look at the first few rounds, he was frustrating Ward with his jab. He was pressing the fight, making Ward a little uncomfortable and backing up Ward a little bit. Where I think Kovalev went wrong is he allowed Andre Ward to get on the inside way too many times. The reason Sergey Kovalev allowed Ward to win the first fight is because Ward was getting on the inside, roughing up, throwing a lot of body punches. So I thought Sergey Kovalev would work on that this time around, but for some reason he didn't. He allowed Ward to get on the inside and throw a lot of body punches and tire him out. So that's where I think he went wrong. Now let's talk about the stoppage in this fight. Personally, I thought the stoppage wasn't actually that bad. If you look at, at the fight, Sergey Kovalev looked on his feet. He was incredibly gassed out, and I don't think he could have went another few rounds. If Sergey Kovalev somehow managed to last the eighth round, I think he would have probably been knocked out in the ninth or tenth round. I just think he was so gassed out that he couldn't continue. Now let's talk about the low blows. You can't talk about this fight without talking about the low blows or the supposed low blows that Andre Ward landed. Honestly, I do think Andre Ward's punches went a little low at times, but at the same time, I also think Sergey Kovalev was complaining a little too much about punches that wasn't low. If you look at this fight, Sergey Kovalev stopped fighting. He took small breaks, but if you look at the replays, a lot of those punches were on the belt, but don't get me wrong, I'm not excusing Andre Ward. I do think those punches were a little low, and I do think the last punch at the end of the fight when the referee stopped it, I do think that was very questionable. Now let's look forward to the future. For Sergey Kovalev, I think he should keep his head high. He's still one of the best boxers in boxing. He's still the second best light heavyweight behind Andre Ward. And I think he can still beat most, if not all of the light heavyweights that don't go by the name Andre Ward. Now let's look at Andre Ward. After this fight, he was talking about moving up the cruiserweight or heavyweight. But honestly, I think he should stay put at light heavyweight. But as far as heavyweight, I think he should stay away from that division. In today's time, it's impossible for a light heavyweight to move up to heavyweight because of how big the heavyweights are. If you look at all the top heavyweights, they're all over 230 or 240 pounds. They're all over six foot five. So I don't even think Andre Ward could logically compete with those guys. So I definitely think he should stay away from that division. 
This was another great fight. And I can't wait for the future of boxing. There's a lot of great fights coming up. And I can't wait to cover them.